My name is Eric Baker, and this video is brought to you by Florida State University College of Information. In this video, I will be showing you what's inside the black box. First, let's take a look at the materials we will need for this video. For this video, we will need the computer and a screwdriver. First things first, we must work in a safe and static-free environment. So remember to power off your computer and remove the power cord from the machine. Also, remember to remove any plastic bags or papers from your work area. Finally, you're going to want to ground yourself. To do this, simply touch any of the unpainted metal surfaces on the computer's frame. Once you have set up a safe working environment, your next step is to open the computer. To do this, you simply unscrew the fastening screws from the back of the tower. Once you have the screws removed, simply press down on the lock and the side panel will come loose. Lay the side panel flat and turn the computer so the internal components are facing up. As you can see, all of the peripheral devices, such as the hard drive and the CD drive, are located within the bay of the computer. This is where the power supply is located in this particular machine. This is where the DIMM slots are located. The DIMM slots are where you will find the RAM modules for the computer. This large green board is known as the motherboard. The motherboard is the main board in your computer. All of your devices connect directly to the motherboard. This is where the heat sink is located. Beneath the heat sink you will find the processor for the computer. Now that we know where everything is located inside of the computer, we need to become familiar with some of the cables. The first is the power connector. This is a SATA power connector and provides power to all of our devices inside of the machine. The second cable is the data link cable. This cable is used to provide data uplink for our devices in the machine. Once again, my name is Eric Baker, and I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and informative.